The latest next on a fiery disaster unfolding in Sao Paulo, Brazil this morning. A 26-floor tower is now a smoldering mountain of debris. It collapsed in flames earlier today. From that video, obviously so upsetting to the woman who filmed it, this is street level footage and witnesses say the flames shot to the top of the structure. Firefighters fear victims were trapped on the higher floor. Now this man says he ran inside and banged on his neighbor's door to get them out. Então desse mandar bati em cada porta assim, falei fogo, 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 saí correndo. Eu olhei para trás e eu vi gente correndo atrás de mim, então eu disse New video here now that shows the aftermath. At least one person is dead, three at least missing. Freelance reporter Sam Cowie in Sao Paulo says that as many as 90 families of squatters had been living inside that abandoned structure. We know that the majority of these families managed to get out by the stairs of this 26th floor building before uh, the flames got too bad. We understand that at least one person is dead, although this still hasn't been officially confirmed. Um, we understand that there's probably about another four, perhaps five people that are missing, but uh, the firefighters haven't officially confirmed this yet. Uh, although it's, it's, it's understood that the majority of the families managed to get out okay. Um, the rescue operation with dogs, uh, dogs are being deployed now on the ground to hunt for survivors or indeed uh, the, the remains of bodies. And uh, also we've seen the entire area has been evacuated and another building has actually caught fire, but that seems to be under control, but extremely damaged also. Sam, as we look at these pictures, obviously the fire burned so intensely and we know timeline wise, it was about 90 minutes from the time the fire broke out to the time yeah. that building collapsed. What are they saying that may indicate and has there been any discussion early on of a cause to this? Well, basically, it's this. It was a 26th uh, floor, 26th floor building um, without working elevators, with extremely precarious electricity, um, occupied by you know 90 extremely poor squatting families. The firefighters are saying that in these kind of situations, it's very common the elevator shafts are in fact used uh, to dispose of trash or rubbish and that they may have become filled up with trash and rubbish. Also, it's very common in these squatted buildings in central Sao Paulo that the, uh, the rooms are partitioned using, you know, hard wood, wood that's been salvaged from the street, uh, chip wood, kind of very, very, very flammable woods, basically. And, you know, with the lack of electricity that you have in these places, obviously, so, um, so often the electricity is taken um, from the street. It's basically stolen. It's hooked up uh, via 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 kind of uh, via wires um, that from the street, and then perhaps there has been an electrical fire there that's like spread out of control, and everyone's got out of there, but obviously, you know, or trying to get out of there in time, and that's that's seen as probably the main cause. Uh, by the head of the military, uh, the, the head of the military firefighter unit in uh, Sao Paulo that's been speaking to local media right now. That's freelance reporter Sam Cowie in Sao Paulo this morning. The governor there says the problem of homeless people living in dangerous, abandoned buildings is widespread in Brazil's largest city.